How you doing guys? I've got the opportunity to uh, let you know about a cool product that I had, that had no idea existed until a few weeks ago, and that is the Lighter Bro. It is a kind of lighter case multi-tool. And uh, the owner of the Lighter Bro actually sent me one and said, do an honest review, which is what I always tell the people if they want to send me something is, you know, you don't have to pay me, but if you want to send me one, I'll give you my honest opinion, whether that's good or bad. And that usually weeds out the people who don't have uh, faith in whatever their product is. So he sent me a Lighter Bro. And as you can see, it is a case for a normal Bic lighter. And this is a full-size lighter. I haven't tried it with the uh, short one, but as far as I know, the shorter ones are the same dimensions. They're just shorter. So if you wanted to, you could uh, slide that in and have some space beneath it as well. Like it would, it would end here, and then you could have space in there if you wanted to stuff some Tinder or a sack of um, something in there. So uh, yeah, so let me show you what, you, what you're working with here. This is a 400 series stainless steel case for Bic or other obviously generic brand lighters. Slides around and covers the front completely and is fairly open in the back. And it's got a series of tools on it. It has, on the side here, it has a straight edge blade, which the end can also be used as a flathead screwdriver if you need to. This thing was razor sharp and uh, works great for like cutting open boxes and stuff like that. Obviously, and this is the case with all the tools on here, you have to look at this for what it is. This isn't some sort of super survival tool where you're gonna be you know, batoning logs open to make a shelter. They are just uh, riveted on here and it does seem sturdy for, for the size of the tool and for the connection here, but you know, you're, you're obviously not going to be uh, carving a tiki pole out you know, over a weekend with this thing. So it is a small blade, but it, obviously it, it's pretty tough stainless steel, not really any wiggle or anything in this. And I've been using this for a couple weeks now and it seems to be holding up pretty well. So like I said, razor sharp blade, couldn't abuse these too well, but it's great to have another extra blade lying around. This also has a set of scissors, similar to what you'd find on some Swiss army knives. These seem to work pretty well. And then it also has a, a little screwdriver slash poker. Now I personally haven't had a lot of use for this tool. I can't necessarily think of what else I would put in its place, but I, I mean, if you do have this sort of small electronics, a phone, you can use this to hit reset buttons on a lot of electronics that are in there, or um, even to push pins, maybe if you're doing a firearm uh, disassembly and you need to push a, uh, a holding pin or cotter pin out. And it does have the small, um, I think it's size 000 Phillips head screwdriver on there. If you need to take your glasses or electronics apart, so it's good for that. The um, the guy that sent this to me said it was also good for cleaning out ports on iPhones and stuff like that. So pretty good to go. And also, if you uh, probably can't tell by looking at it, but it has a bottle opener on the bottom, which is great because it doesn't stick out or anything. It's just basically a function of the, the designed shape here. So you don't have some weird bottle opener type thing sticking off and making it take up a lot of space. And honestly, I thought it was just, when, it, when he sent it to me and I looked at it, I said, okay, yeah, maybe you could probably use this to open a bottle, but it might not be that easy. But this, uh, this thing has been working better than a lot of uh, dedicated bottle openers that I've used. So all you do is you take the, um, hook it up like that, and then just, it's good to go. So that works pretty well. It's definitely happy. And it's got a little lanyard clip here and they actually sell some lanyards too. If you want to one that's lighter bro lanyard on there, you can pick those up as well. And it does have a little space in here, but if you really, if you push on this hard enough, as you can see, there's a little metal bump right there that stops it from sliding down all the way. So you still have space to use the bottle, bottle opener. But if you're not interested in using the bottle opener, you can actually force the lighter past that and uh, have it take up even less space. Let me see if I can do that. There we go. You gotta usually push it on a hard surface, but then it, it goes pretty much flush with the bottom and it takes up even less space for storage. And then if you need to, you can just pop it right past it and it's back to normal where you can use the bottle opener. So this is a really cool tool and they actually come in a, um, they're both stainless steel, but the, the gold version is like a titanium nitrate, I think, uh, finish similar to what you would have on like a drill bits. And this is, uh, one of the great things about this is only like $9.99, which is I think a really great price. You can't even get the little baby Swiss Army knives for that usually. So for something that you can uh, just 
put on a lighter and store in one of your survival kits or throw in your pocket. It doesn't take make the lighter take up that much more space. And also, if it is in a survival kit or some sort of vehicle kit, it can act as a protector for the lighter. I mean, these lighters are pretty tough, but having a stainless steel shroud around it is uh, definitely not going to make it any less tough. And it will protect it from being punctured or crushed in the event that something happens to your kit and you'll still have a uh, working lighter in there. And obviously, uh, you can just use the lighter as is. So I think it's a really cool idea, and especially for the price, you definitely couldn't go wrong by picking up a couple of these and uh, throwing them in uh, your kits or just having one in your pocket. I've actually had a lot of fun carrying this thing around. I don't smoke, but for, especially for people who do and you need a lighter anyway, definitely might not hurt to have a little knife, screwdriver, scissors, and a bottle opener lying around and protect your lighter as well. And they look cool. They can. They, this comes with. This one has the Lighter Bro symbol laser engraved on there but if you get a certain amount i'm not sure what the cutoff point is but if you buy a bulk in there you can have a custom engraving on there if you wanted to promote your business or if you wanted to do like a wedding present for your groomsmen and stuff like that a bachelor party or a graduation gift for class or something like that or pass them out to whatever any sort of conference or meeting you could get a cool little um logo or symbol engraved on there so I think that's pretty cool, and I definitely recommend you check them out. The, the website is lighterbro.com, and they're also available on Amazon, so you can check the link for both of those below in the description box. And if you guys happen to uh, pick one up, let me know what you think. And I probably most likely will be running a contest to uh, give away this brand new unopened uh, Lighter Bro, as you can see on the back there. Lighterbro.com. Pretty cool. Definitely check them out, guys. Talk to you later. Thank <music> you.